got a great trigger. Hey guys, this is Drew. Welcome back to Beyond Seclusion. I'm going to review the Taurus PT-92 uh, AFD. Essentially what this is, and it, it, you can argue, and I might make some people upset, this is a Beretta 92. Okay, Taurus is an old company. They are out of Brazil. Long time ago, um, Beretta actually had a factory in Brazil making the 92 series for the Brazilian army. Brett decided to, to pull out of Brazil and essentially they sold the factory, the blueprints, and even the workers. They sold everything. They just pretty much picked up and left and Taurus took over. They then started producing the Taurus 92, the PT-92. At first, it was identical to the Beretta, except that they put Taurus on it. Over the years, they kind of made some of their own improvements. And so now what you have is Taurus's, and you know, I kind of think of this almost as Taurus's flagship of their semi-automatic pistols. You know, it's an old design, but I love the 92 series. Now I had a 92 in the military. You know, it's just a, a good old fashioned, non-polymer, all steel. The thing is heavy, it's robust. It is not small. It's got an external hammer. Um, take the mag out here. Okay, it's got a double action. This thing's got an awesome trigger pull. Okay, but I also have the double action, and this is hard. I mean, this is probably a good seven, eight pound pull, but I can pull it again. So I can put, okay, one in the chamber. Now I'm gonna decock it. Okay, and that's a way to uh, to use the safety, and I can pull the trigger, and I don't want to do that because I don't want to fire off in that direction, but let's say, you know, okay. Now, I already did this video a couple days ago, and I've, I've put, I put 50 rounds of Wolf, threw it 50 rounds of Tula, and then about another 50, 100 rounds of CCI. Problem was, is it was a lot windier than I thought, and you have that awful noise in the mic, so I decided that I just wanted to essentially start over. I will keep some of that shooting in there so you can see. Um, it, it functioned flawlessly. I, I love this gun, I really do. I liked my Beretta, I actually sold it a long time ago. Um, I can't even remember why. I think, you know, I was real tight, for coin and there was something else that I was wanting to get. It, it looks, feels just like the Beretta 92. So if you've shot that, you're gonna like this. The, the difference is, guys, I can get this for you know up to $200 less and I'm really kind of getting the same thing. Taurus has really upped their game. You know, way back when they started doing the semi-autos, I think they had, um, you know, some quality control issues, but that's that's the Taurus, I think, of the past because reviewing some of the newer stuff, the G series, um, they're working flawlessly. Now, this one has always done really well, done outstanding. It's just, you know, it's simple. The sights, they're fixed, they're metal. It's all metal, the breakdown. One of the things that I loved about my Beretta is the breakdown. You got the little button here and the lever over here. We just push this in, push it back just a little bit. The switch goes down, the slide comes off. We can take the spring and the barrel off and then we just slide it right back on. And then we flick that little switch and boom. We're good to go. I like the hammer, it's got the safety ambidextrous both sides it's also got the decocking if it's cocked okay that's a way to decock mag release
Now I did have some light primer strikes there. <laughs> it tests you for flinching too. But because of this double action, they went off. Fifty rounds Wolf Military Classic, not one single jam, probably three, maybe four light primer strikes. That's not surprising with Wolf. Now let's move to Tula. No review is complete without testing some hollow point self-defense ammo. This is federal. Next one is some CCI 147 grain semi-wad cutters. Got a great trigger. Now the other day when I was testing it, I got a super tight group at about, I think it was 20 feet or something. We'll just shoot some of these uh, reset targets. Hey, if you've never been to our website, home of crazy stupid deals, make sure and go to our web webpage. I've got all the links there. Uh, for you know the best deals that I can find. This helps support Beyond Seclusion. If you haven't clicked on my online courses, they're in the description. Just click on them. It drives them up in the search engine, and maybe you're interested in it. Maybe you want to, you're interested in the mental health continuing ed units that you may need for law enforcement, military, or first responders, or you know somebody's in school, or you just want to save money so that you got more coin for more ammo check out those courses they get a 30-day money-back guarantee also check out my amazon page this is where i usually find and i get most of my optics at the best prices that i can find and those that have been using our links thanks for your support Guys, that's, that's tight. I really like that. All right, you can tell the 450 Bushmaster, and you can tell the 9 mil. Guys, I am super impressed. Um, five stars, two thumbs up. That's just some CCI uh, bulk pack, and I'm really happy with that group. That's 15, 20 yards. That's nice. That's really nice. Back here about 30 feet. Let's just see how we can do one-handed. I did a reliability test the other day, but again, I can't remember if that was one of them where the wind was really bad. So we're at 15 feet here. That is pretty much, again, the max for concealed carry, way beyond most engagements. Let's test the accuracy here. Hey guys, that's not a bad group at all. You know, 15 feet, fairly rapid fire. Uh, you know, not as fast as I can pull the trigger. 
I'm more than satisfied with that group, and I think most of you would be as well. Okay, so up close was a no-brainer with this pistol. We step back to uh, about 100 feet here. Let's see how we do. I'm happy with that. I'm really happy with that. I think for those of you that are looking for, I guess what I would call a higher end weapon, you know, uh, a reliable, proven, that typically costs, you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars, this is a way to get in to one of those weapons at a lot less. Okay, that was fun there at about 100 feet. I want to step it back a little farther. I've got um, some wolf in here and wolf can be a great test for flinching because if you get a light primer strike and you do that, yeah, you're flinching. So let's uh, give it a shot here. That finishes up our box of Wolf. We've now done 100 rounds of Wolf Military Classic, 100 rounds of Tula, probably another 100, 200 rounds of Brass Case CCI. I like this gun, guys. I think you will too. Hopefully you found this review helpful. Be sure to like, comment, and sub. Check us out on Facebook. Um, Got some fun stuff there. Put my deals on there. I also got Twitter. You can check us out on Twitter. Until next time, happy shooting. Be safe. Happy holidays. And remember, gun control starts at home and educating our kids. Mm -hmm.